I'm Ken Thomas, the park superintendent, and uh, welcome to DeSoto State Park's new CCC Museum. You can see here the Civilian Conservation Corps played a big role in the development of Alabama State Parks and, of course, DeSoto State Park. And this is, was our opportunity to a tourism grant to, to pay honor to the guys who basically built our Alabama State Park system that started it. And we've got a lot of great artifacts in there. A lot of the community members donated. It's, it, it was a big community park effort and it feels real good to finally open the doors to share their story of, uh, of hardship during the Great Depression. Uh, young men learning skills in a government program. Of course World War II came about and ended the Civilian Conservation Corps so we're real lucky that they got the park built before World War II started. I'm John W. Stowe, John Wallace Stowe. I was Wallace growing up and then in the military I became John and uh, I came up today I had two brothers in the CC's and uh, so I came up to see if I could find their picture or the one one was in the local camp another one went out west and uh, the one brother was uh, had finished seventh grade we growing up we 11 kids farmers and uh, we couldn't afford to we couldn't stay in school all the time. We had to work. We had to have to stay out and work. So the one brother had finished seventh. He went to CC's, and in a short time, they made him assistant uh, educational advisor, and he got a raise to fifty dollars a month. And, uh, but it was a big help to us. The older brother was in the local camp. And, uh, he used to bring some of the guys to visit with us out on lookout. Lived out there. I, re I remembered the camp down in Fort Payne and, uh, when he was there. To give you a clue on where this camp was, this is Company 472's camp. It was down in Fort Payne, Alabama, and the reason they moved it down there was for, or built it there, was because of the utilities. But to give you an idea of where this was, McDonald's now is here. So this is where. Decap Plaza is now where Big Lots or Tractor Supply is. Um, if you look at it, this is, would be the Y area where Wendy's is now. And you look at this one, <laughs> if you can get up there. Um, this is looking towards the mountains. So if you stand in the parking area of Big Lots, you can look out and see the outline of this mountain. This, where these cornfields are, this is kind of the Y where Wendy's is. This is Highway 11. So you can kind of see where the the barracks were. This museum is a dream of the DeSoto State Park staff members for many years and we never thought we could do it because of space and money of course um, but when our park superintendent Ken Thomas got this grant we were like well I guess we've got to empty out the building and this building was used as storage for decades you could not it had been you know just there was old furniture in here, there was insulation, there was old lighting fixtures, and it was so packed full you couldn't walk two feet inside the door. So we, none of us, even the most senior members of the staff, had even seen the fireplace. Um, it had been stacked up so high. Um, this building was uh, not modernized at all. It's the most original building because it, since it was built in 1940, they probably used it for a little while, but they never you know, obviously didn't put it in insulation, no water, electricity, obviously. Um, so we had to kind of start from scratch. 